Hey, here's Joe again, and welcome back to Pecaminosa, where, uh, yeah, we're here in La Joie de Vivre after my big exploration episode. That's, uh, I mean, that's a bit customary for me to do a big exploration if there's stuff to explore in the game. But we actually wanted to continue on, oh, no, this is the church, up here, because we wanted to follow the hints uh, of the locations. And we start here with Dr. Schumann, which was the first on the list. Dr. Schumann, Caron Street, get more oxygen, it said. Let's go in. Okay, there is a behind door, okay. Let's go there. Ah, Dr. Schumann, can I rob you of stuff? Apparently not. Good day to you, please take a seat. It's all right, Doc, I'll stand. Too much time spent sitting lately. So be it. So what seems to be ailing you? An overwhelming curiosity. Pathologically even. Yeah, you could say, heard you've been treating a guy named Amuso. I don't make a habit of sharing patient files with random strangers, mister. Why do I only always, always, always get the options that I can't use because I'm the intelligence specialist? I mean, we have the full police gear on, which we don't need anymore, and I could sh change back to luck. You can call me Mr. Caliber. I, I don't like that option. I'm just an old friend that's worried. He's been really reclusive and hasn't shared much about his condition. I guess you know he's suffering from a chronic obstructive lung disease. He was smoking too much, apparently. Naturally, he has been saving severe uh, se has been having severe breathing difficulties. He used to come for regular visits. Used to? Yes, I haven't seen him in quite a while and I fear for his health. If he isn't dead already, he's got a foot in the grave at the very least. What makes you think that? You see, his latest test result revealed a couple of peculiar things. I found traces of bacteria and fungi that are usually found in dark, damp environments and even body decomposition. Dark, damp, a cemetery, dead bodies. What did he have to say about that? He said nothing, because the mayor stepped in and interrupted my consultation. The mayor? But freaking Spiro! Indeed, he demanded to wrap up the exam and to prescribe inordinate amount of oxygen for transport. Oxygen for transport? Mr. Amuser undergoes or rather underwent oxygen therapy. Most physicians recommend cigarettes, but I'll stick with O2. Oxygen therapy with cigarettes. Okay. And I assume you conceded to our fine mayor's request? It wasn't requested, it was demanded of me. And when Simon says we just shit all over professional and moral ethics now, don't we? If it, it guarantees the continued operation and support for a failing medical practice, then you can bet your damn ships on it. Then say where were they headed. No, the mayor only briefly mentioned something about an appointment he had to attend before 5 p.m. Rodinsky's notes mentioned something about that time frame too. I need to follow up on this. Thanks, Doc Schumann. You know, if you look past your poor moral conduct, you're kind of an okay guy. You have have a good day now. That was Schumann. The first clue to follow up on. And we're now supposed to go south to the cemetery. What's the other thing we're supposed to go to? Uh, track down Rock at the, at the other place. Um, I mean, that's just a thing, single thing to do. And this is the only place that I haven't really explored yet. A you guy with a knife? The bloody hell you're gawking at! Bunk off or you get your gob hooked! Okay, I think I met that voice perfectly. The tower so high, it will be, de will be the death of, of someone for sure. So much effort and suffering in the name of a charlatan. Okay. Jesus, just look at the heck up here! You should be scarlet coming outside looking like that. Okay, I'm in the police uni uniform, but whatever, lady. Uh-huh, some kids. 
Come, come, my lady. You are my butterfly sugar, baby. I'm awake, kid. You should write a song. Got a feeling that in a couple of years' time, it ain't gonna be hard to find any success at it. Yeah, I know that lyrics. If you're looking for the thin lizzy, just head straight down. Okay, yeah, I, I can read my map. They should have come back from the impeccable by now. Something must have gone wrong. This has got absolutely bollocks. No way he's opening the Lizzie tonight. Just smokes left to celebrate. Oh, what will become of the little ones? Murder after murder in this blasted city. Evening, miss. Have you seen one rat around these parts? Oh, that was me. Yeah, sugar. Right here under my garments for five ships. You can talk to a little rat here for as long as you like. Uh, bye then, rat. Uh, I was asking about Red Rourke, but uh, I wanted to check whether I can pick up some clothes there. Like maybe uh, a hidden, different costume option. Okay, you guy. Can I ask you for some ships for a cap, right? Yeah, no problem. I have enough. One day you and me are gonna fly out of here and be happy. I don't know where they missed up. Room will already coming up on the first finish line. Will you reign champion for the second time? Room. And you, kid? You're scary looking, mister. Go away. Hmm? Get ready. I'm curving this baby. Out of the way, mister. I'm sending this one to the moon. Come on, baby. We've got to go to see daddy. We've, we've got to go see daddy in prison. We're already running late. This is the second time this week I go hungry. So the wee wains... Can fill their tummies. Can't go on like this much longer. And that's end of map over here. Want a taste of good hot stuff? Nope. Yeah, we know it ain't much, right? But we bid it ourselves. That should count for something. You look minted there, mate. Better keep your hands around your knickers if you don't want any ships to go missing. Okay. Bring it in. I'll send her flying to the top of Spire Tower. Get ready for this one, Sean. They say that apples don't fall far from the tree. Been here for two hours and nothing. There are no apples on that tree, milady. Go on, Brianna. Say hello to the mister. She's quite shy, you know. It's a kid. It's great now to make love, don't you think? Not with you, mate. Not with you. Not today, at least. The bloody pisser drinks himself into a stupor and the less he gets the short end of it. Not having that, he's getting paddling once he gets me mid some man. Okay. Heard that shop got banged the other day. Yeah, Walsh didn't say nothing about any dogs. Evening, gents. Bars closed. Aye, Truman Cora FC just won the championship. Owner drank himself worse than the lads ordering. It's a right holy show in there. That's great. Listen, I'm looking for Red Rock. You know him? You're Irish, boyer? Well, I'll start drinking whiskey at 10 a.m., so I'm thinking that qualifies me. Ah, take again at this gas, man. Good one. But all true Irish men know I, uh, I know serve its army and fight for its freedom, you see? I don't really participate in much politics. I just need to find Red. Well, I happen to know the wee protestant myself. How do you know you're not one of Her Majesty's lawyer's subjects? you see me wearing a diamond pattern shirt, checkered pants, going out of my way to be cordial and polite, you fucker? Haha, <laughs> like the way you work, boy. Drum Condras, champion, I'm in good mood. Down a shot with me, lady. Cheers. Cheers. That's all well and dandy. If you want a face to face with Rock, you'll have to do me and the lads and I next. I figured as much. What do you need done? Me and my lads here will be itching to get our hands on some downright fierce weaponry from the last war to support the cows and give us a leg up on overthrowing those snot-faced bastards. I don't mind contributing to smashing a few tea sets. Where can I find this weaponry? The weapons we want are under the fatty wing of Papa La Beur. We've been trying to close the deal, but that Cajun drives a hard bargain. Who is this Papa La, La Beur? Papa La Beur owns the Borges the Scrapyard. He uses the business as a front for arms trafficking. Any idea how I can get some leverage on him? My advice would be stopping by Manuel Chenro's butchery. The butchery. 
Hey, bang on. He's a regular customer at the meet me. Absolutely adores the owner and has a fierce love for a good slab of beef. That's all we know so far. So I'm just supposed to walk up to an arms trafficker and offer him a steak for a whole crate of automatic weapons? Well, he really enjoys his meat, you see. If you manage to bring him a nice steak, you might get on his good side long enough to catch a whiff on the weaponry. With any luck, you'll get yourself a nice treat, a shotgun, a flamethrower, maybe even a floret. You're gonna make Lime Walsh happy, boy, huh? Gun steaks and drugs, an autobiography. I'm a satisfaction guaranteed kind of guy. Don't you worry about it. These fucking gobshits at the nugget think they're good to, uh, too good for me, shapes, scaldy blindness. The whole line of them. You with the garter. We don't think kindly to your sword around here. Best bug off for you into the boot of a car. Well, we will fetch you some water soon, dearie. Folks starving here and that wretched sparrows lining his pockets with casino money. Sorry, I need to hydrate my throat every now and then because I'm doing too much different voices. Also not remembering the voice, voices I've done before. So I'll not be able to replicate them the next time. Which is perfect for Let's Play like this. Just perfect. Um, I want to go for those... Uh, these trash bags are not the ones that I can hit. Okay, good to know. Um, down there sending me to the cemetery, over there sending me to the butchery and labeur. I wanted to go that way regardless because I wanted to buy bullets. How are we on bullets? 218. By the way, I fixed this, this, this issue and now it doesn't show the weird logo here every time I do this. Um, thinking about adding an animation to it, but uh, that will require setting up different scenes that will require a bit of more free time. And I'll do that when I when I got time for that. Okay, let's just go over here. Um, because I wanted to change my clothes. I don't like the force option every time. I'd rather go with luck and intelligence. Intelligence as soon as I find an outfit for it. And the luck outfit is right here. Can't pick up that. Store that, store that, pick up that, pick up that. Double confirmation on every menu, which is bullshit. There says weapon for damage. Which weapon? Ah, uh, this is, uh, yeah, my hands. So we get three fours, four, four, four fours, five fours, and one luck. And here we get three luck. So we lose two luck and gain five. Uh, this uniform is just better. This uniform is just better. Boy, is this, does this really need to be that complicated? Yes, it does. Take this with me and also this whenever I need a gun for a boss fight. Yes, that will be everything. Also, um, put you on the three. And if I do this, it says six damage. Okay, if I do this, it says 11 times three damage. Okay. It uses three bullets and puts out 11 damage per bullet, so it's definitely better. I just wanted to double check on all my options here. Problem is, I should be able to just run in my own house. Okay, let's talk to the grave digger. Well, never thought the living would be a sight for sore eyes. I assume you're a groundskeeper, Grump. That's a weird way to greet someone now, isn't it? It happens when you've seen the things I have. I doubt there's much of interest happening when watching over stiffs. That all changes when the dead walk the earth again. Barely escape with my life, you know. A bad omen has befallen the city, and I will not be staying any longer. I'd rather invite you to answer me some questions before you leave, partner. 
Ask them, and be brief. Why the hell has Rudinsky been lining your pockets with cash? He paid me to hang around the grounds for two more hours after closing. Why's that? Something about the mayors visiting in private. I didn't care much. Is his family buried around here? Not his direct family at least. He should have spent a lot of time in that mausoleum up ahead. Let me guess, is it the Amusa family mausoleum? No, Amusa has been buried here. I've answered your question. And I will leave my and I will take my leave now. Goodbye, we will not meet again. What a shiri fellow. Good that I don't need to remember his voice. Okay, that's where the next boss fight will be. We will be going for a muso. Uh, what did he sell again? Did he even sell anything? Yeah. 30 for the ammo box. The, uh, web, uh, the hidden weapon trader near the butchery uh, did take 24 per. So that's why we're going that way instead. Also, we should save the game. To not fo uh, lose any progress. Which takes a bit too long for my taste, but that's how it goes. Come on, go over. Let's meet Ko. So, uh, the weapon trader was right left here and then up here. Yeah, there he is. So, 24 for bullets. And that's the same weapon that I have. Um, oh, here's only t uh, six boxes available for 144. Freaking hell, what do I need the ships for? No, ne We have seen no need for an excessive usage of ships and otherwise we can always gamble at the casino to get more. Let's go to meet me and company. Good evening. Glad to meet you. Hope you're happy to meet me, mister. I go by Sousa. Mr. Sousa, what will it be then? Still not sure. As good as old Jack the Ripper would say, let's cut to the chase. Is it for you or a gift? A gift? Why? It makes all the difference in the world, my friend. You can tell a lot about someone from the cut of the me of meat they choose. Which brings me to another question. To whom is this gift destined to? Is it for a friend, family, need to impress the boss at work? It's for the owner of the old strapyard. I've been trying to negotiate with him for some parts, but it's been a tough sell. Ah, uh, Monsieur Le Beau, you mean? I know him well. Man woven from tough cloth and a shrewd businessman. Lucky for you, I know just how to help you. Great. But it so happens I let my sharpening rod to the owner of Tunidier's restaurant, and I simply cannot even begin to cut Monsieur Le Beau's order without a properly sharp knife, I'm afraid. Can't a guy ever cratch breath? I could see about getting that sharpening rod back if you'd like. That's very kind of you, Mr. Sousa. Please understand that Monsieur Le Beau's cut of choice is extremely special and the most expensive of the world. It must be tended to with the greatest of care. The world's most expensive meat? What price range are we talking about here? 250 ships, but for the kind of egg, a kind act of returning my sharpening rod to me and the recipient to which the meat is destined to, I'll give it to you for free. We just spoke about ships and I just gave away all my ships. Good. Good God. Good Lord. Okay, so who should I speak to regarding your sharpening rod? Ask for Mac Easter, the air restaurant's owner. Tell him Manuel Tenro, the meat mind hunter, sent you. Okay. We already saw that restaurant. It's somewhere to the east. And it's not marked on the map. The Ten Tendry. Southeast, if I'm not mistaken. That's what's my my brain directly spit out southeastern part of city. Do you know where that freaking restaurant is? Apparently not. That's washy washy. 
God, why did I run around the whole city and... That's the Cobra Nugget, that's, that's just a casino, the Wiggly Piggly is a pawn shop. That's the liquor store and the hotel. That's Zapparotti's Pizzeria, which is not the right one. Okay, that's not the right restaurant then. There were no restaurants here in the sink. There were no restaurants in the paradise. Ah, double shake. On the lower road. Fucking hell. What? No. I thought I could. That looks like there is an upper, uh, a lower road there. That's Shinaski, that's something else. It's weird that it didn't get marked to the map. Uh, Riders Police Station. That's the Daily Sin, that's the newspaper. This area wasn't exactly crawling with places I would put restaurants, could only be on the right side. And it's not. We don't have something like, no, we don't have something like that in our pockets. So the only way, up and right. I hate that you get stuck on dashing so much. Like dashing is almost useless for movement. That's the one where the people disappear and they spoke about the sewers around here. So I'll be looking for some sewer entrance around here. Because that's a thing that I didn't know about being a possibility when I first came here. That's a Panama Club, by the way, and that's not the thing we're searching for. That's another casino, the Casino Palace. Although it's mirrored, for whatever reason. Oh no, the casino is on the other side, okay. It's Lose Casinos. He did say a name of a place where to get this. I'm completely confused now. He did say I have to go to a restaurant. And I re uh, vaguely remembered a restaurant. Like a restaurant at all. And now I haven't found any restaurant really. Other than the pizzeria. I just found the pizzeria. That's the only restaurant. One street up from here? Ah, oh, fuck you. How would I know that I will not be able to go there? And that was Shinaski. Which is obviously not the place we're looking for. Go back to the meat guy. Eh? Now I'm confused. Yeah, I heard the name before. And I'm apparently too stupid to read a map. Thank you for, to all those busy people in the comments already pointing that out. You. Good evening. Would you be happen would you happen to be Mr. Mac Easter? You want it only. Welcome to Tuny Dears. Mr. Easter, I come on behalf of Mr. Manuel Tenro, the Mr. the Meat Mind Hunter. It's like a sharpening rock bag. Oh, he might be the true Meat Mind Hunter, but I still stand as the true Shrimp Mind Hunter. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You know, I can trace the profile of just about anybody in the, by the manner they eat their shrimp. Mr. Easter, I really need to. The one there, for instance, see how he vehemently sucks and savors the juices of the head. A man of the lower classes, he knows what it's like to lack possessions and makes the most of what he does. Okay, listen here. 
and the lady there notice how she strikes at the shrimp with knife and fork, an aristocrat sensitive to strong odors. Enough, I don't care about this dumb feud you two have going on, I just need a damn sharpening rod so I can get out of here. Alright, easy, here's the rod, I was just trying to say that, I know full well what you're trying to say, I can tell you the judgmental type. What makes you say that? Because I'm the broccoli mind hunter. But I don't like broccoli. Precisely. Good day. <laughs> that was the best answer ever. ever. I didn't expect that. I'm the broccoli mind hunter. That's so great. Why are we going after Rock? Rock is number four on our list. We need to go for... Uh, for a muso first, whatever. Here's the sharpening rocks. Thank you so much for your help. Now let's get cutting. You know, Mr. Sousa, some meats are exactly like women. We must caress them gently, pamper and treat them with care so they can soften up and get their juices flowing. I wasn't aware of that. Complete attention and tenderness is a must, Mr. Sousa. If I ever saw anybody approach this prime cope beef here with a tenderizer, I would sever their hands with my cleaver. Is that cut so appreciated by Monsieur Labour? Nothing less than the best, and this choice says a lot about him, you know? Fantastic. You see, Mr. Sousa, the prime Japanese meat comes from the Wagyu Ox's tenderloin. Interesting. The caretakers give these wondrous beasts a proper luxurious treatment. They are brush brushed daily and are given lengthy messages to soften the fat into the meat. And it's freaking expensive. And I doubt it is so much better that it justifies that to be being that much expensive, that much more expensive than normal meat. Like if you compare it to like Argentinian, Argentinian uh, ox. All they're missing is a visit to the acupuncturist. So if you want to start off the right foot with Monsieur Labour, give him give his ego a good massage, greet him with the blessings of the Iwa and close with a well-intended compliment on the state of his scrapyard. Right. Treat him with due deference, Monsieur carries a lot of weight with any prime meat lover. Anything else I should take into account? Please remember that his scrapyard first opened for business in 1932, don't mix it up, an egocentric bev beef lover pays as much uh, attention to the temperature of a steak as he does to his calendar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 1932. Noted. Very well. One last thing, Monsieur Labour has a lifelong aspiration of possessing a car just like Gary Cooper's, the 1936 Duesenberg. Duesenberg. Berg. SSJ Speedster. Is this just a game of memorizing stuff? Does he know? The heart of the SSJ Speedster is the 420. Cubic inch straight, straight eight engine. It features dual overhead cams. And four valves per cylinder. Yeah. You are now armed with a plenty of salt to season your conversation with Monsieur Labour. Got it. Thank you, Mr. Manuel. No problem at all. And here's your steak. I think that's a fake out by the game, so that I think I'm expected to completely remember everything he said and. Uh, Mr. Sousa will say it automatically all in just one line. Um, I'd love a typewriter though. Oh, are we on time? We can do this. Oh, this... No, this can't be a boss fight area because the dogs were here and stuff. Evening, in the market for some scrap? Blessing of the love uh, of the Iva upon you, Monsieur Labour. Quite a place you've built here. Thank you, here are you. Dreadfully sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Horace Burnham with a committee of appreciation for the United States Scrappers. You first opened for business in 1932, correct? 
That's correct, yes, during a big market crash. Well, congratulations. Our president would like to bestow upon you the Scrapper Recognition of Tenacity Awards alongside a brand new car for your efforts. Car? What car? A fantastic 1936 Duesenberg SSJ Speedster, just like Gary Cooper's. What? That better not be a joke. A 420 cubic inch straight 8 engine with a dual overhead cams and 4 valves per similar man. Ain't no joke, Monsieur Labour. You actually serious, Pearl Le Gillevoix? Can I see it? Our committee will contact you with further details. In the meantime, please enjoy this complimentary gift we. What's up? Is that a cow beef steak I'm looking at? Why, yes, it is, Mr. Le Monsieur Labour. Quite an eye. Do you have any way of storing it? Oh, you just give me a couple of minutes. I'm gonna take this petit bebe to my house right now. I'll tie up the dogs. Do me a favor and keep an eye out until I return, alright? Of course, Monsieur Labour, it would be my pleasure. It should buy me enough time to find those weapons. We're supposed to find those weapons in the scrapyard. Ah. I freaking shake the scrapyard already. I mean, it's only 30 minutes, which makes this the uh, shortest episode, but this is a perfect time to cut and to continue tomorrow here in the train yard where we already explored, but whatever. <laughs> Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. <laughs>